graders, how are you today? I hope you're all doing fine. I am Geraldine Pamisa, welcoming you to the world of hard work. Before we start our lesson, here are some reminders to make this learning understandable and fun to learn. First, stay focused and alert to the video lesson. Second, prepare your pen and notebook so you can jot down all the important details from the lesson. Third, sit back and relax because we are about to start learning. Before we proceed to our today's lesson, let's go back to the prerequisite knowledge or lessons that we need in this topic. First, reducing or simplifying fraction. We need to know how to reduce or simplify fraction. Okay, how? Can you still remember? Example, we have 5 and 10. How can we reduce this one into lowest term? Yes, I can hear you. All right, by dividing the numerator and denominator with their greatest common factor, we can reduce this one into lowest term. So what do you think would be the GCF of 5 and 10? Correct! We have 5. So by dividing both 5 and 10 by 5, so 5 divided by 5 is equals to 1. And 10 divided by 5 is equals to 2. So we have 1 half. Alright! Another thing that we need to review is that changing mixed fraction to improper fractions. For example, we have 2 and 3 fifths. So, we have to multiply first the denominator, which is 5, and the whole number, which is 2. So, 5 times 2 is equals to 10. And then, we're going to add the numerator, which is 3. So, 10 plus 3 is equals to 13. And copy only the denominator, which is 5. So, we have 13 over 5 or 13 fifths. As easy as that. And... If we reverse it, changing improper fraction to mixed fraction, so let us also invert the operation. For example, we have 13 fifth. How can we do this? Alright, we have to divide 13 as the dividend and 5 as the divisor. So we have 13 divided by 5 is 2 and 2 times 5 is 10. Remainder, 3. The answer will be the whole number. The remainder, 3, is the numerator. And the divisor, 5, is the denominator. So, 13 fifth is equals to 2 and 3 fifth. So, please replay if you did not understand it yet. What do we mean or how do we change improper fraction to mix numbers and vice versa? Now, we already done with all the necessary skills in this topic, so welcome to our new lesson. For today's lesson, you will be able to identify the steps on how to multiply another fraction, whole numbers by a fraction, and mixed numbers by a fraction. Second, solve problems involving multiplication of fractions. For this operation, I am sure that you will find this much easier than addition and subtraction. You know why? Because there's no such complicated steps here than you did in the first two operations. So now, I have a question. How many of you like to play marbles? If you have marbles, will you share it to your friends? Alright, very good. So now, here is the problem. Marcus has 12 marbles. He gave one-fourth of his marbles to his friend Arnold. How many marbles did Arnold receive? So in order for us to answer the word problem, we have to answer the following guide question. Number one, what is asked? It is the number of marbles did Arnold receive. Number two, what are given? Marcus has 12 marbles and 
he gave one-fourth of his marbles to his friend Arnold. Third, what operation are we going to use? Of course, multiplication. Number four, how will you solve the problem? By multiplying one-fourth and twelve, or one-fourth times twelve is equals to n. And the last guide question is, what is the correct answer? To answer the problem, let us draw first a figure to represent the one-fourth of 12 marbles. Marcus divides his marbles into four. Each group represents one-fourth of his 12 marbles. Looking at the illustration, we can say that one-fourth of 12 is three. Therefore, Marcus gave three marbles to Arnold. Another way to solve the problem is through computation. There are rules in multiplying fractions. Rule number one, to multiply fraction by a whole number. Here are the steps to follow. Step number one, express the whole number as a fraction with a denominator of one. Let's say for example from the given problem above, our whole number here is 12, so we just express this as a fraction with a denominator of 1. So why 1? That is because whenever we divide 12 by 1, the result is 12. So always remember, if the given is whole number, just put 1 as their denominator. Step number 2. Multiply numerators. Our numerators here is 1 times 12. The answer is 12. Next, step number 3. Multiply denominators. Our denominators is 4 and 1. The answer is 4. And the last step is reduce to lowest term. Since 12 over 4 is an improper fraction, we need to divide that 1. So 12 divided by 4 is equals to 3. So, our answer now is the same. So, therefore, Marco gave three marbles to Arnold. Next, multiplying fractions with another fractions. Since they are both in fraction form, we have to multiply their numerators and denominators directly. For example, 3 over 9 times 3 fifths. So we have to multiply first the numerators, which is 9. And their denominator equals to 45. So the answer now here is 9 over 45. So 9 and 45 is not yet in the lowest term. We have to find their common factors that can be divisible by 9 and 45. Greatest common factor is 9. So this 9 divided by 9 is equals to 1 and this 45 divided by 9 is equals to 5. So the answer now here is 1 fifth. Next, multiplying fractions by mixed number. In multiplying fraction by mixed numbers, we have to rename the mixed numbers as a proper fractions and then simplify. For example, 2 and 1 half times 3 fifths. Our mixed number here is 2 and 1 half. In order to rename this 1 into proper fraction, we have to multiply the denominator and the whole number. So our whole number here is 2 and our denominator here is 2. So 2 times 2 is equals to 4. After that, we have to add their numerator. So the numerator here is 1, so 4 plus 1 is equals to 5. And copy the denominator which is 2. So 2 and 1 half is equals to 5 over 2. After that, we will going to multiply their numerators and their denominators. So we have 5 over 2 times 3 fifths. So, their numerators is 5 times 3 is equals to 15. And their denominators is 2 and 5 is equals to 10. Okay, 
15 over 10 is an improper fraction, so we have to divide that one. So 15 will be the dividend, and then 10 is the divisor. So we have 15 divided by 10 is equals to 1, and then 1 times 10 is equals to 10, remainder 5. The answer 1 is a whole number, the remainder 5 is the numerator, and the divisor 10 is the denominator. So the answer now here is 1 and 5 10. Another way to find the product easily is by using the conciliation method. You can only multiply proper or improper fractions, but don't forget to simplify or reduce your answers in its lowest term. By using this method, let's try multiplying mixed numbers by a fraction using conciliation method. For example, 6 and 2 3rd times 2 4th. The first thing to do is to rename the mixed numbers as a proper fractions. So our mixed number here is 6 and 2 3rd. So we are going to multiply the whole number with the denominator 3. So we have 6 times 3 is equals to 18 and add the numerator 2, so a total of 20 and copy the denominator of 3. Then our proper fraction now is 20 over 3. After that, you have to look for a pair of numerator or denominator to conceal or reduce. Then multiply. We have 20 and 4 because 20 and 4 has a denominator of 4. So 20 will be divided by 4 will become 5 and 4 divided by 4 will become 1. So 5 times 2 will become 10 and 3 times 1 is equals to 3. So 10 over 3. Do you think 10 over 3 is in the lowest term? Of course not because this is in improper fraction. So we have to divide this 1 so 10 will be the dividend and then 3 will be the divisor. So 10 divided by 3 is equals to 3 and then 3 times 3 is equals to 9, remainder 1. So the answer now here is 3 and 1 third. Cancellation is very helpful since it simplifies the fractions before the actual multiplication, thus making the process a lot easier. It is said that practice makes perfect, so I want you to be perfect, so I am preparing another set for you to practice on. So let's answer this. Just click the link below for the Google form where you can write your answers. I will give you 10 minutes to answer that one. Done answering? Very well! Now, how much did you get? If your score is high, that means you are exceptional. And if you get a low score, that shows you missed something along the way. Feel free to go back where you find it hard. Before you proceed to the next lesson, I want you to take a short break and breath in some fresh air outside. Okay, class, that will be all for today. Thank you and have a good day.